How to create a forum using WordPress easy tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to create a forum on WordPress. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you will open up your WordPress website and you'll get right here. You just need to go to your dashboard. This is a test website that I have and this is my dashboard. I'll show you how to create a forum uh, using WordPress really easily. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you will open up your WordPress website and you will get right here. On WordPress, you have to scroll down to plugins and click on add new. We will be adding a plugin to add and create a forum. In the plugin section, uh, we're going to search for forum and we will get all of these plugins. The first plugin right here, which is the WP Foro forum, is actually one of the best plugins to create a forum. It will allow us to create a modern and responsive forum design. It has more than 20,000 active installation. To install, click on install now. And once it's installed, you're going to click on activate. This is our plugin right here, WP Forum. Let's open it up. So here we're going to go to the forums right here. To create a new forum, you will get the option right here. Or you can add from here, add new. All right. So we have to enter our forum title. I'm going to call it test for now. Then we have to enter our forum description. This content will be displayed under the forum title on the forum list. So for now, I'm just going to write test and let's say this is the description I want to add for my forum. You will, of course, add the description you want to add. Then we have forum slug. Now, slug is actually a URL friendly version of the name. So you can just add it right here. Then we have the forum icon, font awesome icon. So what you need to do is you need to select an icon for your forum. So now you can select it according to what forum you are going for. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with this one right here, a desktop one. And this is going to be the name. Then we have forum SEO description. Now, this was a simple description that is shown under the title. And this is going to be an SEO friendly description. SEO friendly means search engine optimization and it helps our firm rank higher in the search results. So I will be adding like a SEO friendly description here. You can go ahead and use an AI to generate an SEO friendly description. If you have a writer, if you have a web designer, then they know and they will be able to add it right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to again add the word test here just for the purpose of the video. I'm not writing a lot of, you know, description and I'm just showing you how to write it here. So once you're done with the main portions right here, the options, then you can move on to the, the options given here. First of all, we have forum options, prevent forum. So if you have a main category or a main form created and you want to add forms to a main parent category, then you can create them and add and select a parent category. So there is no parent category for this one. Then we have category layout. So of course, there is no category. That is why I don't have the option to select the layout. Then we have the publish. We will get to this in a minute. Forum permission. Now, this is important. Admin. If you want to give a forum permission to your admin and a full permission, then you will select full access. Then we have a moderator. So you will give them a moderator access, registered, standard access, guest, read only access and customer. Again, a standard access or read only access. So I'm going to go with a standard access. Then we have the forum color. So here we can actually work on the appearance of the forum that we are creating. So we have selected like a purple color. I can go with any color I want. So I'm just going to go with this one. Once you're done with all of the settings right here, you will click on publish and it will be added right here. You can see this is the one that I just created. Now let's get a preview. So I'm going to click on the view option given and it will show me the forum that I just created. All right, so this is my website and here we have the forum. As I showed you, we just went with the name test. This is the description. Subscribe for a new topic and RSS. So this is a forum that I created and you can see it has like a rubber color to it. And this is what it looks like. If I scroll down, then we have like admin control panel. Now this is what I, it shows me because I am the admin. And then we have the share option, forum information, one forum. You can see how professional the forum looks. Forum, members, recent post, my profile. So this is how we can create a professional forum using our WP Forum plugin. 
you can see we have the share option this is what it looks like very responsive you can see how responsive this forum is add new category or forum this is just for me admin control this is what it is name description that we added the subscribe option scroll down for the you know icon and everything so you can see this is what my forum looks like on my website now if you want to make some changes of course you will go back to your edit option here we have the edit if i click on this pencil it will take me to the forum builder again and i'll be able to edit the forum you can see again i can upload images now i am getting more options you can see we have a category sorry we have a layout so this is the layout that i have selected extended you can go with a threaded or a simplified one then we have a cover image so if you want to upload a cover image for the forum you can click on upload and it will allow you to select an image from your library or you can upload from your computer so you can see the layout and then the picture these are the settings we did once you're done you can click on save changes and your forum will be edited this is how you can edit all of the forums that you have you can create new forums of course and get a preview so once the forum is created and if you click on this plus button it will allow you to create another forum into your form that you have and it will become a parent form you can see right here the parent form and then you can create more forms into it of course, you will add all of the information according to you. And if you want to delete a forum, what you can do is you can just click on this pin right here and the forum will be deleted. You can see, click on delete and all of the sub forums topics replies will be deleted. You can also get an overview of your WP4 here, setting, moderation, phrases, tools, boards, and accesses right here. It's a very good plugin that you can go for a WP4 forum to create a forum for your WordPress website. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to do everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video. So yeah, also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question.